guys, it's Lara from Our Oily House, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a salt spray for beachy, wavy hair. This is my sister, Andrea, and I have her here with me because my hair is not going to do this. I one time got a perm. I have a friend that does hair and whenever she was in beauty school, she needed someone to be her perm model. And so I came in and she gave me a perm and she told me not to wash my hair for a few days and that it would, you know, it was supposed to all work, of course, and it didn't. My hair is always straight. When I was in high school, I was a cheerleader and whenever we would go out for a competition, my hair would all be up on top of my head with the curler still in it. And whenever they would say like, my school's on deck, everyone would take my curlers out because my hair does not hold curls. So Andrea requested that I would make this spray for her because she wanted the recipe because she has a little bit of texture in her hair and whenever she goes to the beach and she has salt in her hair, it holds the waves really well. And so she was wanting a recipe for this. And so I decided if I was going to share it with her, I should share it with all of you guys. So I'm going to make the recipe here on the YouTube channel and then I'm going to demonstrate it in Andrew's hair because I just know it won't work in my fine, completely straight hair. <laughs> okay, so this recipe is really easy. You just need a few ingredients. You probably already have them at home. Some warm water, some sea salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt, some coconut oil and some aloe vera gel and a couple essential oils and they can be different ones depending on what scent you like. Andrea said her favorite smell of essential oil is lavender. So we're using some lavender and a little bit of Roman chamomile. Okay, so all you're going to do is we're gonna take a half a cup of warm water and you wanna make sure it's warm because we want our salt to dissolve in a bowl. And then we're just going to add in one teaspoon of sea salt. And we're going to do a teaspoon of oil. I'm using coconut oil, but any oil is fine. And then we're going to add in a tablespoon of the aloe vera gel. You can do it. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, once you get those ingredients in, we're just going to stir it up really well because you want your salt to dissolve in the water. After your salt is all dissolved in, we're gonna add in the essential oils. And we are going to do three drops of lavender and two drops of Roman chamomile. That'll make it smell really good. I love lavender. Okay, stir that in. And then we're gonna store ours in this little spray bottle here so it's easy to apply to the hair, just kind of like hairspray. And this is a six ounce spray bottle. Okay, so after all your ingredients are mixed together, well, we're just gonna Pour it into a spray bottle here. Oops, a little much. Actually, I think I just um, poured it too fast. Okay. Yeah. And then the directions for using this is you want your hair to be damp. So Andrew's hair is damp here. So you're just gonna spray it into the hair and then you're gonna take your hands and scrunch it. You wanna scrunch it up with your hands like that. And then you let your hair air dry or you can lightly blow dry it. And then you're gonna have those beachy waves. Okay, so as you can see, it worked really well. She just sprayed this in her hair, scrunched it up a bit, and now she looks like she's been at the beach playing for the day. 
If you decide to make your own beach spray, check out my link in the description below where I have a label so you can put it on your spray so you know exactly what it is. And if this is your first time buying my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies for your home, health, and body. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.